Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're great. Today's video is going to be slightly different because I would like to show you my bullet journal. I'm going to show you the general setup and then how I planned my month of September. So here at the very beginning I have the key and the index. I decided to give them a try because I heard that many people found them useful but honestly they weren't all that helpful to me, they just took time away. I don't think I'll keep updating them and I don't think I'll do them again in my next bullet journal. Now moving on to the first actual spread, I have the year at a glance. I think it's useful to have an overview of the whole year at the very beginning of the bullet journal and also I really like how it looks. Then I have the future logs spread. Now future logs is a more spread out overview where you can write down important dates or appointments that you have in the future and that you don't want to forget. So instead of waiting to get to a particular month to write down all your appointments and stuff, you can do it right at the beginning without worrying about forgetting it. And at the bottom here, I have a section for birthdays because, let's be honest, Facebook sucks and I don't want to rely on it to remember the birthdays of the people that I care about. Here is one of my favorite spreads, which is kind of a reading statistics thing. I don't write down the title of the book that I read or that I've just read, but whenever I finish a book, I come to this page and I annotate whether it was a female author that wrote it or a male author, their nationality, the genre, whether I read it in the original language or if it was translated fiction, and if I read it as a hardback, an audiobook, an ebook, or a paperback. Here on the left I have the hitting the shelves section where I basically write down all the books that have to come out and that I'm interested in reading. I don't have a lot of space so I have to be picky with the books that I decided to write down. And on the right I have the same thing but for movies and TV shows. So on the top I wrote down a couple of movies that I want to watch and here at the bottom some TV shows some new ones that have yet to come out here, others that I'm already watching but the new seasons are coming out this fall. This might be my second favorite spread in the whole uh, bullet journal because it's my year in pixels where basically I have a different space for each day of the year and I color it in depending on whether I'm happy, motivated, sad, calm and relaxed, nervous or stressed, angry or if it's just a normal and uneventful day. And here at the top I have a quote by a pianist and composer that I adore who is Giovanni Allevi and it says even a grey sky is filled with notes which I think is perfect for this spread. Now moving on to September. For the month of September I definitely settled on a more minimalistic approach. It is without a doubt different from what I did in August because August was filled with drawings and colors and shapes and so many things that just clouded and cluttered the whole thing. For me, it became stressful to look at it. It drew too much attention and it was all over the place and it was screaming at me while what I wanted was something that gently whispered. So I went for something that was simple and relaxing and that was much more organized to me. As you can see from the first page, I only wrote the name of the month and then here I have a quote by Walt Whitman which says, keep your face towards the sun, the shadows will fall behind you. I adore this quote. I know it's not much at all, but I love how it turned out, how simple it is, and I like how the quote plays with the word fall, since we are entering the fall season, which is my favorite, and it fits perfectly. Here is the monthly overview, once again, very simple, just a few lines, a few colors, a few words scribbled down here and there. To me, this spread is very useful because it helps me to look at the month as a whole and see what days I have to do what things, and it helps me to plan my whole month. 
here on the left I have a spread for my expenses which I don't think I'm going to use a lot this month because I'm still at home so my parents are basically paying for everything but it'll definitely come in handy next month when I go back to Milan and I'll have to buy everything and take care of everything that I need so it's a way to keep everything in check. Then on the right I have a spread for the books that I read in the month so I just write down the title and some thoughts that I have about the book that I finished. In this case there wasn't a lot to say and what I said was negative, but I don't know, with other books I might need more space, decide to write down also quotes that I liked, we'll see how it goes. This is my mood tracker. Now this is my favorite monthly spread because it's the only spread where I allowed myself to be a little more creative and actually draw something. For the month of September I decided to go with leaves, of course, because what's better than leaves in the fall? Here at the bottom I have a scale from sad and depressed to happy and depending on the mood of the day I color in each leaf hopefully by the end of the month I'll have more green leaves because right now thanks to my stupid exams it's not going so well on the right I have my habit trackers and this is very personal I mean you can decide to annotate whatever you want I decided to go with healthy food for instance so I cross the number of the day when I sleep more than six hours which doesn't happen too often unfortunately and also workout and here on the far right I have my morning run tracker where not only do I cross the number of the day if I went running in the morning but I also annotate the number of kilometers that I ran. Last but not least we have the actual agenda. Here on the left I have a small calendar to highlight the week of the month in which I'm in and here on the right I have the one line a day so I write down a sentence for each day of the week it can be whatever I want something new that I did something funny or happy that happened that day something sad a quote it can be whatever I don't want to put any restrictions on it so that's also creative I guess in a way and I have outlined the whole month because I like to have everything ready for the whole month at the beginning of the month. And I'm not sure yet, but I think that at the end of the month I'll have a couple of pages or even more than that to do a diary kind of thing where I'll just write down my thoughts and the best things that happened that month. A kind of monthly memory, I guess. And yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my bullet journal. Do you guys have any bullet journals? Do you guys have it minimalistic or filled with drawings and such? What do you do? What are your habit trackers? Some suggestions that you might have. I'm always open to those. Tell me in the comments. I would love to talk to you about it. And that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Warm hugs.